Hi, good morning. This is Rabbi Moshe Krasnansky from Chabad of the Town. And I'm sitting here with a dear friend, uh, Robert Luxemburg. And uh, Bob, uh, we've known each other for many years. And we've seen uh, your uh, growth over the last 12 years, not only just growth, your incredible success uh, in business, even though you started late in your life, but the incredible success that you've had in business. And now you've decided to share that with the world uh, through your book, Mind, Money, and Wealth. And I'd like to discuss that today to tell us a little bit, uh, what is the book all about? Well, the book is actually called Mind, Money, and Wealth, What They Don't Teach in School. So that little tagline is very important here because the truth is that in school, uh, they do a lot of good things, but they don't teach you about your mind and they don't teach you about money really and they certainly don't teach you how to build wealth. Um, I went through my own frustrations over the last many years. I uh, couldn't figure out why it was that I didn't have the wealth that I always thought that I was going to have when I was younger. Um, and kind of over-delivered in various corporate positions and I was even involved in real estate as a broker and yet didn't have money to show for it. So um, uh, there was a crossroads about 15 years ago where I made a huge decision to humble myself and basically say, hey, you don't know what you don't know. And I decided to um, go on a journey of growth and change and sit back and learn. And I read, gosh, over a hundred books. I went to conferences and to camps and to seminars and, um, and really learned a tremendous amount about myself, about my mind, and at the end of the day, that's what my problem was. It wasn't about real estate. It wasn't about business. It was about my mind and my underlying blueprint. And that blueprint was not set at the success I wanted. It was set at actually scarcity and limitation. I didn't know that, of course, until I went on this journey. And um, I guess it was at that point that uh, I realized I had to make some changes. I recognized uh, where it was that I was being limited. And, uh, and I went through that process of growth and change. I learned so, so much, it was amazing. And frankly, a lot of what I learned was right here at the Chabad. Um, how many times have I told you we'd be sitting at lunch and learn and you'd be talking about uh, something in the Torah that day, the Parsha of the day of the week, and that particular teaching would apply directly into my life. Yeah. It was mind-blowing that it was like, how did it know? How did the lesson connect like that? And then, I'll take it a step further, we, we would be talking about T. Harv Eker, who's uh, you know, one of the great <coughs> mentors out there. We'd be talking about Tony Robbins and some of these other mentors that I went through. And it was amazing that these teachings, that these guys are out there making millions and millions of dollars uh, presenting, um, almost always come from the Torah. It emanates from the Torah. So um, I went through this process, Rabbi. It was painful, I must tell you. It was hard, it was painful to look in the mirror and to realize I was sitting here at the age of 47, nowhere near where I wanted to be in life, uh, in many areas of my life, including financially, and to say, hey, um, it's time to make a change. And I think when you humble yourself and you say, okay, I don't know what I don't know. Um, we all know that success really comes from awareness and uh, go on this journey of growth. Um, I think that's where it all starts. And you know, you can learn from so many different places. Uh, and I did. I, I had great mentors out there. Uh, just so you know, T. Harv Eker is Jewish. But I learned from the Torah, I learned from you. Uh, I learned from you know, these other wonderful mentors. I learned in all areas, from the mind, to money, to business, to real estate, uh, and it was amazing because if you were to put it on a graph, here's my success, here's where I started, you'll notice that that graph goes straight up the day I started to learn, the day I humbled myself. And so, though it came from a place of pain, frustration, um, it was so interesting to watch as I was actually um, growing and succeeding, uh, rapidly so, and um, I realized then what the recipe was for success, real success, and, um, and it all emanates with the mind. It starts from the mind. 
we have programming, as you know. Uh, we have underlying belief systems that limit us. Uh, we have fear. And the first thing you have to do is recognize what your own blueprint is. We have blueprints for money. We have blueprints for health. We have blueprints for relationship. We have underlying blueprints even in religion, the way we're brought up. For sure. And you have to recognize that. You have to say, okay, I see it. I understand it. And from there, um, put together a recipe. And that's what I did here, starting with the mind, then going to money, then going to uh, the discussion of real estate and other areas where you can build wealth. Um, this has been a dream of mine, actually. It's a legacy to my children. I suffered. I really, really suffered, Rabbi. It was hard for me in many ways. My ego was battered. And here I was. Uh, I, it was a triumph for me. And I, and, and I figured it out. I figured out what that recipe is, not just for myself, but for any young person. And the younger you start, the more you can do. And by the way, money is a spiritual thing. The more of it that you make, the more people you can help. At least that's how I see it. So I wanted to teach that to my children. And I thought the best way to do it would be in a book. And it is Mind, Money, and Wealth, what they don't teach in school. It was really targeted at my kids, Evan, Sarah, and Deanna. And, uh, and all young people out there. Interestingly enough, I'm being told that their parents are loving the book. But um, uh, that's who it was targeted at. I am extremely proud of it. It's, it's a legacy uh, to my family, a legacy to people out there, and I hope that it will help a lot of people. And, um, you know, the book's coming out May 7th. It's actually the official launch at Amazon. It's May the 7th. Uh, people can go to my website, mindmoneyandwealth.com. And the and little bit spelled more. out A-N-D. A-N-D. Mind, money, <clears throat> A-N-D, wealth, dot com. Simple as that. Go to the, you can sign up there. You can learn a little bit about the book, about me, about my process. Um, and I, I hope that people will enjoy it. I really do. And, and uh, I come back to it again. Uh, there's always that beautiful connection to the Torah. And it is. The Torah teaches all this stuff about the mind, about your belief systems, about fear, about limitation. I mean, we're, we're celebrating Passover now. It's, it's, you know, part, one of the layers is about freedom from your mind. And so I think when people learn that, the sky's the limit in all areas of their lives. And uh, I agree. I must say I'm very proud of you because I know you've written books, other books before. But this book, and thanks for giving me an early copy to be able to read it, and it was something I couldn't put down, written so well, and really, for everyone, it's a great way to look at how we can uh, create wealth, uh, no matter what you do, even if you have a career, you still can create wealth in the way that uh, Bob lays out. And what touched me very much is that the opening of your book, like you said, is about the mind, is really, um, <clears throat> is really very spiritual. It's, um, it's really helping people understand themselves and the reality that they live in today, but which is not necessarily their true reality. And, and you have to always break through. You have to always grow. We have to get out of limitations, like you said, and especially now we're in the Passover holiday. It's about breaking out of limitations, breaking out of boundaries, both those that are set by external people and those that are set internally and those that are just part of our nature. We are given a, a, a special ability to break out, and there is no limit, the more we break out and we start seeing things in a very different way. And one of the ways that you just mentioned is you believe that money is spiritual is that when you start making money only to be able to enrich yourself, and you pointed out in your book, eh, that's not a good driver. It, it, doesn't, it doesn't end well usually, but when you make money realizing the power of money, how you can influence and how you can impact, and charity and other things like that, it, 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 it gives you a whole different a drive to make money that's much deeper, much more powerful. And a lot of that comes through in your book, which I think is so special because you're not only addressing how to make some more money and how to create wealth, even like you say, while you're asleep and not while you're working nine to five, but five to nine. It's really about um, understanding your relationship with money. It's not a sinful thing. It's not a, a, a negative thing. It's not greedy. It's about being able to have a greater impact uh, in your life and on those around you, which I think is something very, very powerful. Um, right. What really touched me as well is that you made it for your children, um, which is you really want to give your children the ability to, uh, to be able to, to read again and again <clears throat> what it is that you went through. And it wasn't easy, and you displayed in your book uh, your ups and downs. But to be able to, to be free and to be able to do what you love and to be able to, to take your latent talents and, and be able to execute on them 
and, and create what you have created. It's definitely be a, an incredible uh, inspiration to them as to many others. And, and that I think was very special. Not many people do that type of uh, thing. Thank you. So um, what I suggest to everyone out there, all of our uh, friends, uh, this is a great book to read. Uh, not only because we always want to know how to be more successful, but it's really about seeing how the underlying teachings of Judaism and the Torah in our relationship with money, wealth, impact, and abilities. And, and, and once you, you break through in the mind the way you said, it doesn't only affect how much money you make, it affects how you relate to everything else around you, in, in the world around you. And I think that's very, very powerful. So, like we're saying, Hebrew Kola Kavod, it's a great piece of work, and uh, I wish you a lot of success in your May 7th launch. Um, and I'm going to suggest to people to read it. I read it, and I think it's a, it's really a great uh, read. And it's almost like when you finish reading, you want to know, you, you think about, what am I going to do tomorrow because I read this book? And, and, and that's, that's really what the bottom line of uh, something put out there is, to, to, to move people to want to do something. Any last thing you want to add in or say, Bob? Um, well, all I can say is, uh, quite honestly, uh, my process uh, over the last many years uh, that led up to this particular book, and like you said, I wrote some other books, um, that process uh, is connected uh, to my Judaism, and it is. And I'm not just saying that because I'm sitting with the rabbi. I'm saying it because clearly um, uh, I, I learned so much sitting at whether it be lunch and learn or some of the other lessons or some of the other courses that I've taken that are so related to what uh, my journey was made of. Uh, and, um, and like I said, a lot of the mentors that I heard from, boy oh boy, I guess they took it from the Torah. Uh, so I can say honestly that uh, you know a lot of what I've learned and a lot of what's in the book, it emanates from this place and I'm proud of it. I think it's a beautiful thing to be Jewish. Great. So uh, again, mindmoneyandwealth.com. Uh, May 7th is your uh, launch. And we wish you lots of success and being able to help people do well. Because when people do well, they will, God willing, uh, share that wealth and give uh, generously to charity, people the opportunities that they need to be able to move forward in their life. Thank you. So be well, so Bob. And lots of, uh, lots of success in this and all the future things that you do. Thank you, Rabbi. Chag Sameach. Chag Sameach.